Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Star Trek Discovery, season number one, episode number 13. What's past is prologue. This episode directed by um, Alatunde Asunsami. Now before I get into anything, I just want to make an apology. First off, for being, for being late with this. And also for my last review. Because see, I missed two episodes and I didn't realize it. I didn't, I didn't know when the show came back on. And so when I did my review, I did my review on the last episode that I saw. And I didn't do um, the, the first two before. And so when I came into it, I had no idea what was going on. So now that I actually saw the first two episodes that I, that I missed, I'm not going to do a review on those. That's too late for that now. But now I understand exactly a little bit what's going on. And so I'm, I'm all caught up now. And, then, and, then, and, then my, and the next review is going to be coming out tomorrow. So I'll be all caught up. So in this episode here, you have um, Michael and, um, and Emperor Georgia, Georgia working together to take down um, Lorca because he's he was he, they thought he was from Michael thought he was from his uni her universe, but she, he turns out he actually from this universe. He trying to get revenge back on um, on uh, Emperor Georgia and take over her ship and then to do what exactly? I'm not exactly so sure. I'm not really so sure on that. And you have everybody on the, on on, on the, um. On the, on the Star Trek fleet, I'm trying to um, stop him from doing what his, what his plan is. Because it seems like whatever he's planning, whatever Locus planning, is going to pretty much destroy all the universes. Not to, not just the universes they're in, but all of them. So they got to make sure that plan that he has doesn't go through. Because that would suck for everybody. Now, the thing is, though, I'm not quite sure if that was Locus' and Locus' intentions to pretty much destroy all the universes, or he doing or or. His actions is going to was cause the universe to be destroyed. I, I don't quite know for sure. Because if he wants to destroy all the universes and, and kill everybody in it, I don't understand why, why he would do that because he would die too. So that would suck. And so I, so I'm not so sure if so if he wants to destroy everything or his actions is going to be the reason for why everything gets destroyed. Big thing. But overall, I did enjoy this episode. I, the only part I didn't just I just didn't like I just didn't like the whole Lorca storyline because. He went through a whole lot of trouble just to get back to his home world, and he caused a whole lot of chaos just to get back to, to, get, to get back home, which he didn't have to do. Because even Michael said, "You know, we could have just let we would have worked with you and helped help you get home. You didn't have to go through all this. Why we had to go through all this crap? We could have just." Because the thing is, though, they wouldn't have known if he, that he was the bad guy. They, nobody would have known. All he had to say was, I'm not from this universe. I'm from an, another universe parallel to this one. Can you help me get back home? And, and them being um, Star Trek and all, they would have said, okay, we'll help you. And then he, would, he would, went back home and did his thing there. Matter of fact, he, he probably could have won. But he, he, he decided to do this, this whole elaborate evil plan thing. For reasons I don't, I don't know. But and the, thing, the thing is, though, I'm not exactly sure what his plan and agenda was, other than getting home and getting a ship. I'm not exactly sure what he was trying to do. I mean, I, 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 a lot of the storylines I did enjoy. Um, I, I enjoyed the whole storyline with Michael watching her trying to, to blend in in this whole universe and trying to suppress the, uh, her, her, other, her, her, her good self to try to act like this other person and, try, and, and the struggle she was going with. I even like the whole storyline with, um, with um, I don't care what her boyfriend's name is, Asher, Ash? Anyway, with him storing on, finding out that he has um he that he had um a Cleon inside conscious inside of his body and parts inside of him and and, and the Cleon part of him and the human part of him are fighting for dominance. That story on actually all time interesting and and the whole story now with um uh with um with Paul with with, with Paul and him uh, with the whole um. Finding his like find how to, his balance is I guess inside of him to to, to learn how to control the ship so he get back home and not without all all that stuff like that. I mean I enjoy all the all of everybody else's storylines and even um Suru find, finding his place and facing facing his, his fears to become the captain of the ship. All this stuff I did enjoy. The only part about this episode I didn't like was the whole Captain Lorca stuff because I I I, I, I'm still, I try to figure out. Okay, what he was trying to do. Because first he gets he goes to this parallel world, thinking you thinking he's he's not from there. He's getting tortured half the time. Then he he gets past that to take over the ship 
to, to do what exactly? I don't know. I don't know. And again, I'm not so sure he had to go through all this big trouble just to do it. They probably would have sent him back home if he just asked. Oh well. Overall, I did I, I did enjoy the episode. It looks like always the special effects on the show is always amazing. There's certain things about certain um the, I still don't like how the cleanouts look. I, that's just I'm never, that's just my thing. I just don't like that how they look, how they designed. But other than that, I was in. I didn't I didn't enjoy it. Since now that I understood what actually was going on, it made a little, a little bit more sense. Not everything made made perfect sense, but still, oh, the overall picture, I, I had fun watching it. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Star Trek Discovery. And if you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. I'm word for it. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it, too. That's well, pretty much all I got to say about that. So, give my channel a big old like, a thumbs up. Shabam. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.